train people that will be versatile, that will be proficient in these aforementioned areas. Now, we have a scary statistics now that seems to be staring at you undeniably. 20% of Nigerians only use, receive mail through post. So how do you deal with this very hostile reality? You have to improve the addressing system, and it's not peculiar to Nigeria. 65 to 70% of the world is buffeted by addressing problems. I've attended international conferences and fora, and it's always a problem. And remember the other time I had conversation with you, I told you we we're bringing World 3 Words. I'm happy to announce that we have signed a memorandum of understanding with World 3 Words. Let me give you an example. The post office in Garki has a three simple word address, bracelets, excitations, and then uh, flutes. What, what that means is that all other areas will be given three simple addresses. Let me ex explain how the dynamics work. This ingenious guy, who is a genius, you can read the, his profile, you can read what Telegraph, Guardian of UK, The Economist, The Guide, all of that, that they have seen the most ingenious addressing solution ever. The, 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 the cleverest solution in addressing system, it is configured in this way. The entire world has been divided into 57 trillion three meters by three meters grids. You, you seem to be so optimistic about... Uh, because it's, the, wor this, this, because this, it's working... Because it's working... It's working... It's working... It's three words. It's working in other places. But you are mounting an unbridled optimism on the introduction of the What Three Words Reform Initiative. Considering the fact that we have just... We have about 50 million illiterates in Nigeria. How do you intend to drive this reform? Um, How user-friendly? 65% of the demography of Nigeria consists of the youth. Are the youth illiterate? Let's respect ourselves and don't let us put ourselves down. And that is why we have come up with a robust youth engagement strategy. If I get 20 to 25 to 30 million of Nigerian youth to, pat to pat patronize the post office, the game is over. You will agree with me on hesitatingly that these are guys that wouldn't have any problem with this addressing solution that I'm talking about because they are the ones we are targeting. They are interested in music, they are interested in fashion, they are entrepreneurs. If you give them addresses, it's going to improve their business, it's going to improve their, 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 their returns on investment. We are targeting these guys. We're, we're cooking a lot of programs that are interesting and exciting. How user-friendly is the World 3 World? It is, it is it's based on simple Android phone technology that everybody carries around. When you talk of using the Android phones now, how many Nigerians can afford an Android phone? When you say can I afford an Android phone, let us look at statistics. I've told you 80 million Nigerians are carrying phones. In any case... No, Android phone. In any case, it is, no, it is not necessary for you to have an Android phone before letters and mails and parcels can be delivered to you. It is our postman that will carry the Android phone in order to locate addresses with the aid of GPS. You need to understand the dynamics. Now, let's talk about the Postal Service Reform Bill. This has gotten to an advanced stage, and um, they are moving for the introduction of the Postal Service Commission. And there are fears that this will take away the powers of the Nigerian Postal Service in terms of regulation. It's unfair for you to be a player and a regulator at the same time. And it's not as if we are making money from it. Concentrate on your core businesses and don't be distracted. Regulation is distraction. As a matter of fact, we are looking at a single convergence where we have just a regulator for all other agencies, whether it's the Broadcasting Commission, whether it's Postal Commission, whether it's Communication, that's what they do in other parts of the world. We must subscribe to global best practice if we want to join the rest of the world that are making, you know, breaking new, new, new grounds. So I'm very comfortable with that. The truth of the matter is that passing the Postal Reform Bill will accelerate the transformation of NIPOS. As you know, the journey of transformation is always tedious, it's arduous. 
I'm not saying there won't be challenges, but you cannot, because of challenges, run away from doing the right thing. As you proceed, challenges will come. We'll figure out how you're going to address those challenges and you move on. We need to understand what corporatization means, and I need to explain. The process of modernizing a post from only government-owned institution to make it commercially viable, commercially oriented, will start from being only government-owned institution to an hybrid. Government will still control the shares because government now, has... You, you Let me explain this okay. so that people will understand. Okay. People, you will move from only government-owned institution to an hybrid of some sort, government and private sector, to privatization. After privatization, liberalization. That may take 20, 30 years, depending on the circumstances, depending on what the government wants to do with its shares because it will be the majority shareholder. I'm worried about how economically viable is Nipos if it generates $4 billion annually and spends $8 billion annually on just staff salaries. Because it is a monoproduct institution now, when you diversify, you go into e-commerce, you go into financial services, you go into real estate, you go into logistics. Aren't you going to make money? Isn't it just plausible to unbundle Nipost? That is what I've just explained to you, that you have Nipost Property and Investment, Investment Company Limited, that you have Nipost Logistics and Transport Limited, that you're going to have Nipost Financial Services Limited. That is what unbundling means. And that is what we're doing. We, are, we have already restructured. We have seven zones now, as opposed to 38 territories that were just drain pipes that did not allow us to be operationally efficient. I've cited the example, and I need to cite it again, under the old order. If they wanted to do anything in bringing Kebi or Shogbo or Enugu, it must come to Abuja. That slows down things. We need to have a system that will ensure that decisions are swiftly and expeditiously made. And that is the idea between uh, in having seven zona arrangements. A zona manager will quickly attend to districts under his or her jurisdiction. It makes for operational efficiency.